Hello and welcome to another episode of the Me and My Friend podcast. Third episode. Third episode hype. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, my name is Ernie. My name is Diane. So we've been doing this for three episodes now, and we kind of just go on little rants here, talk about random things and things that... Life. Yeah. Nonsense. Things that we perceive as something worth talking. Mm-hmm. And share it, want to share it to the world. Exactly. Um, we actually, uh, today was a pretty good day. Kind of just want to talk about that a little bit. Just kind of get you guys going on how we're doing. We're doing well still. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Uh, we had some really good food today. Yeah. It's always what nice. What did we have for dinner? In the morning we made, uh, uh, we just had the biscuits. The biscuits, and then... biscuits and gravy you made. Yeah. Yeah. Those were really good. I still like that a lot. It's so good. Just a little heads up. She likes to cook a lot. And I she like to cook. And she makes good food. Luckily for me, I don't like to cook. <laughs> so she picks up the slack. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean everything was good. We had some good meals today. It's yeah. funny, we just talk about food right at the beginning. <laughs> but I uh, know pretty good times, just relaxing, you know, just shooting some B ball outside of the school. With a couple of guys. They came up and they were up to no good for sure. It's <laughs> <laughs> our trouble in my neighborhood, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but we have a few topics that we want to talk about today. And uh, speaking we, of food, speaking of food, yeah, <laughs> segue there. We actually one of our topics today was what was our favorite chip? Like a chip that you can just like eat and not and not get tired of like you can eat it whenever it's like your number it, one chip. yeah like you cannot get tired of it yeah and it and it's funny because I, I i wanted to stretch this topic to two topics i wanted to do a favorite chip like the one you always like and then that chip you always find at, at, at parties that Oh, that yeah. it's like when it's there you know you're you have to have some yeah like even though it's not your favorite you just like want to snack on snack it snack on it. yeah that exact <laughs> that is exactly right so i want you to start because i know you already have kind of a big oh, grab because yes. you already have a favorite chip that i know you just my favorite all-time chip is hot cheetos flaming hots number one since i was in womb <laughs> she's latina <laughs> you know like they always have those memes <laughs> that was her yeah and then i would when now we were little, we would beg my mom, like, can I have some hot Cheetos? Like, just junk food, and she would get it for us, and um, we would just, like, binge on them, and it was, it was delicious, and I can still binge on them. Sometimes I like to save a little bit, and but mm. then, like, once I get half to the bag, I have to finish it all. Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> oh, hot Cheetos are delicious. And with sour cream or cream cheese. What about so nacho good. cheese? Mm, it's not my favorite, but I prefer the sour cream. Sour cream. I actually have yeah. not had them with sour cream ever. They're really good. I don't, I don't know so. what it is, but it's dangerous, but it's good. Some what about s- yours? Sometimes sour cream is good. Uh, for me, and it, it was hard for me to debate this because I was like going between like two... And they're the same brand. They're Doritos, right? But mine is nacho cheese Doritos. Like, I think for the longest, I was, like, really reluctant on it, you know, because, like, it's a good chip. And I don't have it often, but I do have it often. Yeah. I, like, mm-hmm. I don't, That's the same with hot Cheetos. Because it's, because, like, I have self-control at times, you know? And so, then once you have it in your sight, you're like, it's like I don't have I don't have self-control. Yeah. So that's why I don't buy them, but I know if I get them, that's like the top chip. So yeah, nacho cheese Doritos. But you gotta me. say how you like. Okay, them, so let me. Not everyone does it the way you. So like. let me, let me go into further detail. So my nacho cheese Dorito. I get a bowl. All right, this is a setup. A bowl. It's it's a big bowl. <laughs> I dump those Doritos in. Get some tapatio, and I and 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 I get that the tapatio that's like a glass bottle, and if you can hear that, you know what that sound is. It's your hand, and it's not clapping cheeks. It's not, and it's not dusting cheeks. You're dusting the tapatio's cheeks, and, 
and you're 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 hitting that back of that bottle just where it it just shoots out like that sauce onto the chip and i mean i'm cov- it's drenched it's dr- and i'm covering that's what i'm saying i'm covering those doritos like really good mm-hmm. and then once they're covered the first layer i shake the uh the bowl like i like not shake you but toss it. i toss it thank mm-hmm. you i toss that bowl and then <laughs> add a little bit more top of deal just to like you know finish that like you know finish it off top it off Ooh. I know. T- it, it, oh God, and that is so freaking good. Would you like to eat it with ramen too? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, either either way, honestly, I've had it without ramen. Like usually, I do like to see. Pair if that. I were, sorry, to interrupt. no, you're good. Go ahead. If I were to have Doritos, I would like them with tapatio, but I also have to add them with lemon. I have. To. See, I'm not a big lemon guy. That's. And and I know I love lemon. Every time I tell people my like how I set it up, they go and no lemon, and I'm like no yeah. lemon. Like, lemon is good. Don't get me wrong. I like lemon. I just for some reason I prefer mine chips without that lemon. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, it needs some zest. <sighs> yeah, I just I don't think it needs to me. It does not need zest. But I mean, honestly, very tasty, very good. Highly suggested to anyone who likes spicy. And cheese. Mm -hmm. And the bad thing about those for me is like, after I eat them, my stomach, dude, I am dying. (laughs) And it's like a sacrifice I am willing to pay. You know, like Lord (laughs) Farquaad says, it's like, I'm like, you know, I know what I'm doing as I, as I eat them. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to regret this. But I'm like, fuck it. You only live once. That's the same with me with hot Cheetos. <laughs> it's just just a, a I have like really bad heartburn and I I wouldn't even care. Yeah, it's oh my god. I think it's like also like a comfort thing too. It know? is it is a comfort like, thing. Yeah. Like uh you probably had it when you were little and mm. cuz I would always have it when I was little. I I can't honestly I can vaguely remember if I've had them. I just know that I would have them. But this was like I feel like I had Doritos more with hot cheese with 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 um with tapatio when I was like it, it every so like like let, let, you, you know ratatouille you remember ratatouille mm-hmm. you know when he eats the ratatouille that that freaking food critic and he goes back to his childhood every time I eat tapatio for some reason weirdest reason re- weirdest thing just comes to my head I start thinking about when I used to play a lot of Call of Duty which was Call of Duty Modern Warfare two. And that's what comes up to my head, and that was like some of the best times I had, like playing games. See, that's I, why you, that could be why you maybe. Like so, so like, so, like <laughs> so maybe when I meet him, I'll mm, quick scope. <laughs> you know, like it's weird, but oh god, it's so good. Like not always, I'm thinking of that. Oh okay. Sometimes I'm just watching shows and I'm just <laughs> watching freaking Curb Your Enthusiasm or something and laughing. But I don't know. Oh, but okay, so we're done with that one because that's our favorite chip. Yeah. Unless you have anything else you wanted to add to it. Mm, oh well, isn't also your favorite chip the fries? The fries. You don't like the fries, or is it the just hot fries? Else? Yeah. No, the hot fries are good, but it's not my favorite chip. I thought we we're just doing favorite chip. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I cause cause hot fries are good. The hot the hot Cheeto hot fries are good. Did, did have you ever tried the uh, hot hot Cheetos popcorn? No. Those give you diarrhea. <laughs> I've heard. Those are really bad. Those are like, I, and, and it's not like anything in particular, but just because it has cheese, it's like there's something in that. Because I've heard everyone who's had it just like freaking immediately mm. evacuates their bowels. I, I've always wanted to try them, but I've never like, like, actually gone out of my way and bought them. They're good. They're mm-hmm. really good, but it's just yeah, they're they're bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there anything else you want to <laughs> add into that? No. Okay. So this is the, the, the se- well, not the second topic, but going into this topic. Your, the, what is your, your ch- party chip? What is your favorite party chip? Yeah. I said it was um the cheddar, the sour, no. It's either the, the sour cream, is it sour cream and cheddar or just the cheddar? Well, it's sour cream and cheddar yeah, is the one that's ruffles. Is that what you're looking Yeah, the yeah. ruffles. Or the plain ruffles with the... With the dip, the sour cream dip. Mm, mm, mm. That's Those good. good, yeah. That's very good. Always, it's like, oh my god, 
that somebody made it and it's like hardly anybody makes it now, yeah but like when it's done it's so good <laughs> yeah that's funny you, you know i always tell you this but there's always like for some reason there's party chips and party chips always consist of random ass chips that you usually don't have yeah. at your house they're just there and you don't like go out of your way to buy them never you don't you don't really you don't but for some reason they're at parties and i told you this I think like one of them is Doritos salsa verde. Yeah. <laughs> and and they're good chips. They're good chips. It's just or the just, sweet sweet and sour ones are good too. Sweet and sour. And then you know which I one? I mean, those are good, but yeah. You know which ones also? I oh, I think our party chips too is barbecue chips. Oh yeah. Because I don't go out of my way to buy them, mm. but they're there. That's true. And they're good. But they're you know they're just in parties. But yeah, yeah, I don't. Uh, for my favorite, like I, I want to say, like my favorite, like um, party chip is when they have chubby Cheetos, and I'm talking about the ch- the Chester Cheetos, <laughs> the, puffs. the puffs. Yeah, I call them chubby Cheetos. I I don't know, chubby Cheetos, but they're good. They're so tasty. For some reason, at parties, they always hit the spot. I'm a weirdo. I, I like I like your ruffles with the dip, mm-hmm. but I only like having ruffles with dips when I'm with you. If I have them at a party, they disgust me, like because I feel like. Oh, people, everybody's touching them. Yeah, everyone's like freaking like eating on them. Germaphobe. I'm not germaphobe, <laughs> but I just like it kind of grosses me out. Seeing all these people fucking We're just family, dip. right? Yeah. Same no, <laughs> I can't. I I just I've thought about, it. but whatever. It's just, but the chubby Cheetos are good. Those are solid. Yeah, that's nice. So you would have want those. Yeah, the Chubby Cheetos probably are my favorite. Yeah. I don't think I've had for party. the puffs at a party in a long time. I feel like there's always like a nacho, nacho, like, I mean, like a cheese one. A cheese flavor, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's true. There's got, there's always like a variety of a certain chip. There's always tortilla chips and because you, where's guacamole or like some sort of I salsa. I think in our family, it's mostly guac, guac yeah. and salsa. And then. And the, the tortilla chips. What about this is random, but do you remember that we went to your friend's? Uh, I believe it was her baby shower, and she had Doritos, nacho cheese, mm-hmm. sour cream, and it was mixed with salsa. No, so, no, it was wasn't it? sour cream. No, what was it? It was a uh, cream cheese with sa- with the tostito salsa on top, and uh, it was cheese, mixed cheesy Doritos and cheesy Doritos, and it was mixed. It and was that, so good, and that was so freaking good. And that it was, was her, um, her pregnant, craving. pregnancy craving. Yeah, yeah, her craving. And I was like, dude, I'm not pregnant. I'm craving that. <laughs> they were so good. <laughs> Shout out to her. Some, hopefully her and her kid are doing good right now during this whole quarantine stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you haven't talked to them since no. high school. That's years. But, uh, yeah. No. But, yeah, that that's freaking, that was a good chip. That was a good just dip chip, you know? A dip chip. Chip dip. Chip dip, yeah. Chip dip. Have you ever had bean dip? Mm, you know how they not have, like... Not any good ones. Nah, no, they're always nasty. I don't they know. They always just take, like, straight from the can. Bean dip ones, because they're not good. When I make my chili beans, I can have them with chips. Yeah, the Fritos, huh? or I mean, yeah. Frito-Lays, or whatever. What are they called? Yeah. Fritos. Chili Fritos. No, they're not Chili Fritos. They're just oh. plain original Fritos. It's low sodium, though, right? Yeah, low sodium. Sometimes they get really salty as fuck. Yeah, and it dries out your mouth. Yeah. This is this is a random story because I kind of we're talking about chili, but the other day, and so one of the things I've been doing is um sometimes since this whole quarantine thing and like COVID thing, I've been doing my job, but I've been doing like 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 where I can't like because you know you don't want to keep touching your phone, so I use my watch to verbally send a message to you. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like I'll send something, and it always sometimes it does the autocorrect because. I don't know. It doesn't understand what the hell I'm saying. And <laughs> this other day, you were telling me that your stomach was hurting, oh, and it yeah. was it was Nurses Week, and so I I can't I came because well you're a nurse. I'm not sure if everyone knows that, but you're a nurse, uh, and LVN, and um, so I wanted to get you something. So I wanted to go get you chilaquiles, and chilaquiles are like tortilla, egg, cheese, beans, and but it's always a certain chilaquiles that we get from a certain place that always gets my stomach upset. Yeah, and so so I messaged so she was messaging. But I've been me. craving it because we haven't had it in a long time, and now I remember mm-hmm. why I don't like 
<laughs> yeah. Cheese, like, they're I good. I mean, they're delicious. Yeah, they're, they're really good, yeah. good. But every time, it's like my whole abdomen is on fire. So I don't know had, what it is. And it's like for like a two days yes, or something. Yes, like, I'm in pain. Like it's like two days of her like doing that. So she texted me while I was at at work, and she says. She says, oh, my stomach hurts. I'm not sure what it is or something. Like, she was kind of debating on what it could be and what it is. And, and I it, didn't even have any diarrhea. It was just pain. Yeah, it was just like the, oh, God, I hate that pain. And it's like, it's so excruciating at mm -hmm. times. It's like like a cramp in your stomach. And you, you know, it's like. It's, well, you are cramping, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just funny. But, and so, so I, so she sent me a message and I was driving. And she said, and then so I, I wanted to message her back, and uh, so I used a voice message, and I and I wrote, "Oh, I'm sorry, that sucks. Uh, could it have been the chilaquiles I bought?" And then I sent it, and then I went back to the met, and then I had it pulled over because I had gone to my destination. I looked at what I wrote, and the freaking autocorrect wrote, "I shit you not, instead of chilaquiles, like C H, you know, <laughs> it wrote Sheila." S H E I L A Sheila and then K -E K E Y L E S S. No, no. Sheila Keyless. No. Yeah. She just she said Sheila Keys. Really? For yes. you? Okay, I thought it was Sheila Keyless. No. Oh, was it Keyless? No, it was yeah, it was Sheila Keyless. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was Sheila Key <laughs> Keyless. Like if Sheila was Keyless. Yeah, and I oh my god, I saw that and I was dying. I was We're like both oh. dying. I was like, oh, my God, like, fucking autocorrect. That's <laughs> such a thing. You know, actually, autocorrect has been, like, I, I said fuck, and it actually it's, you, it did it. Instead of duck. Instead of duck. And I was like, okay, <laughs> what? I don't know. It's just funny. But I thought that was a funny little story because mm -hmm. voice message is a cool thing to use, but it, it definitely is not where it needs to be yet. I think it's better from what it was before. Oh, yeah, definitely, for sure. But it's not where it needs to be. Mm, okay. I think you're good. <laughs> I know. I think, you know what? You know who has a great responsive, like, like this is random off tech topic here, but if you guys ever do Alexa and Google, like, the, the, the home oh, yeah. pods and stuff, and the home pods, those things, honestly, Google has the best uh voice detection of like what you're saying like if you say something wrong it'll understand you better than Am Am amazon alexa does mm -hmm. i don't know it's weird it's just a thing but that that's just that's just a little side thing um but yeah actually diane actually wanted to introduce one of her one of the topics that she was uh she was really excited to talk about which one the right here the movie one <laughs> because this one she wrote and she's like oh i want to talk about this and i was like okay oh um so we were in a like a bin we we're kind of binging um final destination movies and honestly on netflix and honestly they're pretty good like, they are very good i, I like watched them. them one through three is there another mm, one there's i think there's one two three and then there's like the final destination where it's like the newest one oh but I, I we I haven't watched it. we haven't watched I it yet. That's the one we kind of stopped at. Are you sure? I am. Yeah. We I think we might have seen it in theaters, but I do not remember. I don't remember either. But anyway, we're kind of binging them. They're like so. We we always try to go to sleep, but then like we end up watching it because they're so good and intense. I mean, they're kind of dumb, it's but they're like intense. It's because they're like a detriment to their time period. You know, like it's like mm -hmm. not just ho horror for like that period of time you know but it's like it's like there's things that are going on in in the time that those movies are being filmed that we that that people lived that that's what they're seeing you know what i mean like 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 what? so like they have like flip phones you know things like that you know what i mean i'm not saying that they're dumb in that sense oh, okay. i'm just that's saying they're, thinking, yeah. they're kind of silly and like um over the top over the top and kind of sort of bad acting but they're good. They're mm -hmm. good. I, we were enjoying them. Um, so we were saying how if you were to end up in a movie, how would you die in one of those movies? How would you die? Like different from 
the movie of the deaths you've seen. Got like, it. how would you die? And and I saw those notes that you wrote about that too, when you wrote that, and, and like the first thing that came to my mind was asphyxiation. Oh my god! It's like, <laughs> but like how? I I don't know. Like, we if did... that would to play in your everyday life. See, that's the thing. I couldn't figure out how, but like asphyxiation did would it count if you're drowning was was that i'm asphyxiation? not saying like how, you, how would you die like if in your biggest fear i'm just saying like if you're doing your everyday stuff and like all and of a sudden you die happens, yeah. yeah like how would you die oh god <laughs> yeah no i don't freaking know i feel like i feel like the worst thing that could happen to me is like well, actually, do you want to go first? No, no, I am still trying to think. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of hard. It's hard. Because, like, my biggest fear when I'm going to work is getting into a car accident. Mm. And I feel like getting just impaled by something, by, like, some, like, just a bunch of cars and just, that would suck. Mm-hmm. But honestly, asphyxiation. Is something. What if, like, I, I like, I, let's say I get in a car accident. And then I'm just, like, crushed from my, like, abdomen or something where I can't breathe. I don't know. And I'm just, like, <gasps> just, like, dying. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Because like, I'm trying to figure out. Because, like, <laughs> my big fear would be not being able to breathe. That shit sucks. Like, have you ever choked on food and you're just, like, oh, fucking. <laughs> or on my saliva at night. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. And it fucking sucks. You're, like, trying to sleep and you're, like. <gasps> oh, God. One time I, I slept. I slept like face forward. Yeah, I heard you. Remember, and I was like, <laughs> I fucking woke up like like I was dying. I was like, what the fuck? Like someone was choking me, and it was just my own fucking. Oh, I was so scared. And then you, and then like her reaction to me waking up like that was like, oh my god! And she hits me, and I'm like, like because I woke her up, and I'm like, the fuck you think? No, I, was... I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Not that day because I was genuinely concerned. Like I, I was like, are you okay? And then you're like. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> You're like half asleep. Oh, God, yeah, because <laughs> it's freaking, oh, God, that shit sucks. Like, I know, because you're, like, comfortable trying to, like, you're about to go to sleep, and all of a sudden this shit comes up where you're yeah, choking. It's, and it's, like, nothing you can stop. Like, no. it's just something that happens. Sometimes, though, like, I feel like it's about to do it, and mm. it still does it, and then I'm like, fuck, I'm going to die. <laughs> God, I hate that feeling, dude. Uh, all right. So that's kind of how I would think I would die in a movie. Car accident. Honestly, some sort of I think mine would, mine would be the same. Sometimes I have like these, like these, not visions, like I'm oh, psychic. look at her, dude. <laughs> like, she's freaking, but, like, she's these, seeing the future like, of these death. Like daydreams of like me getting into a really bad car accident. It's scary. It's, mm -hmm. And I always think about it too. Yeah. I, I, but if it was like a Final Destination movie, it would be something crazy like. Oh, so you want it to be over the top? Yeah, oh, no, God. that's what I'm saying. Like, See, how I, would, how would your death be over the top? Oh like those God. Final Destination. Movies? Okay, I got one now. Go ahead. I'm gonna do a crazy. I think mine one. would be like something falling on me and like hitting me over the head or something. Like what, that dude. Like what? Like in the AC. Because we have an AC unit at work that's kind of heavy. And I kind of stand under it sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> now you're going to be worried. Now I'm going to be worried. Uh, <laughs> I should put out a freaking uh, insurance. Or what is it called? The <laughs> life insurance. Life insurance. Like, uh, <laughs> see, okay. Or wow. like some their janitor's mopping up the floor and then they slip. Oh, I thought the janitor fucking hits you with a broom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And then my I get something jammed in my eye or something. Oh man, mm -hmm. this is going back to Final Destination because I do have one that I want to say. But what? you remember that? You know which one always trips me the freak out is when, when uh, the spoiler guy. Spoiler alert! Oh yeah, spoiler alert! <laughs> I, th I don't know if it's part two or three. I think it's three. It's when the like the punker dude gets freaking like, or is it the girl, the one that gets shot with the nails at the Home Depot or whatever oh, the hell? Oh, I think that's the second one. Dude, I, there's no spoilers anymore. This movie's been out for freaking years. Yeah, but it just released on Netflix. I That's think. That's true. I don't know. <laughs> For the youngins. That's true, but yeah. So like that yeah, one is pretty annoying. It's like he gets nails in the like in the face. It's like mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's just like, <gasps> oh, 
Like, it mm-hmm. all looks so freaking. See, like, that's dramatic. That is dramatic. Okay, I got one. And that shit happens. I got one. What? So, I'm going to, this is, this is me. Okay. I'm going to set up the scene. I get off of work. I need to use the restroom really bad. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and, and I might okay, and I might not make it to the toilet. And I'm climbing up the stairs, running. <laughs> and as I'm going, as I enter the room, I pull down my pants like to get to the bathroom as fast as I can. I slit. I I I trip on my pants that are uh, uh, under my ankles. I trip, and I hit my head on the and I hit my head on the toilet seat that's Scary. open. And then I'm paralyzed a little bit and. And then my head goes somehow into the bowl, and I drown. <laughs> that is really good. That's dramatic. a good one. Uh, see? <laughs> I don't want to die like that. Please don't. <laughs> my hands got sweaty. Tomorrow I see you. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> you just... Whoosh. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> we we gotta think like 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 you you wanted to absurd crazy dramatic shit because things like that don't really happen but fuck things, they do happen. but they do happen have you not seen hundred ways to die oh god a hundred ways to, a thousand ways <laughs> whatever a hundred a thousand ways to die like that guy that like the guy that I told I, I don't know you if you guys seen this show but it's pretty good. you should you look should this up it, yeah I think it's on YouTube now but it mm-hmm. was super old it's a thousand ways to die and like one of the episodes is like. This is random. I just wanted to talk about this one because it always freaks me out. Or it doesn't freak me out, but it always, like, I'm like, fuck, this is crazy. Some guy, I guess he got surgery in his, like, his throat or something. Mm-hmm. And so, and he loves to drink wine. And, like, he's like, God, I really want oh. some wine. You remember this, right? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I really want some wine. And so, like, this dumb fuck. He wasn't, he wasn't allowed any fluids. Yeah, through his, through his throat. Then how was he getting it? I don't even think he was able to eat for like a certain amount of time, oh. but he just really wanted some wine, uh-huh. and so, or something like that. And so his, he's like, he he comes up with some fucking idea. He tells his wife to fill up a uh, you know those like those like warm bags. Oh yeah, yeah. They were uh, just like those. Um, um, I forget what it is. It's like a warm pack. Yeah, yeah. But like it, you fill it with you water. fill it with hot water and yeah. it just warms up. That's what that's and it for. Keeps warm. And it keeps warm. And it's like this rubber. So I guess he puts it in his in his ass. He tells his wife, put it in my ass. And she fills that up with wine. And he has like his legs back, I guess. Or they show you like a like a uh, a dramatization of it. <laughs> He's getting all fucked up off the wine. But I guess like if I'm not sure if this is what it was. I don't recall. I don't know if you remember. But I guess the alcohol gets soaked up to his livers more than it would if he drank it through his like his mouth. It doesn't. It's the rectum. It's it soaks up. Yeah, the faster. rectum soaked it up faster, and and so he got really f- fucked up and he died. Like of what? Like what did he die of? It sounded like was it alcohol, alcohol poisoning? poisoning? Yeah, it was alcohol poisoning. He died of alcohol poisoning. Jeez, but Lord. but like just to get that one drink of fucking wine, and he put it up his <laughs> ass and he fucking died. So like that's his, like his wife. That is final situation. <laughs> <laughs> his wife literally murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Murder's not funny. We're just Murder's like, not funny, but <laughs> the situation. But she like fucking murdered him like with wine. That's fucking crazy. To How say. do you go on and be like your significant other and you're being, and you're just like okay, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like I, not even like a thought. Like you know, maybe you could die. This is not a good idea. And yet you're just like okay, I'm just gonna do it. Might as well, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, I, I I get it. I know why she did it. Significant other, he he wants help. You're gonna help him. You know what I mean. But it's just <laughs> funny that they freaking like. I have a scenario for final destination. All right, go. I kind it kind of almost happens though, and it's scary oh. to think. Okay, we'll say it. Why do you like <laughs> just look at me like it's like? Well, because I'm cooking sometimes. Why well, cook? And then, um, oh, she cooks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened to you yesterday when the knife fell? Oh my god, that happened has happened to me like a couple of times, oh, and god, it's so that. scary. And then you move your foot sometimes, but it's because of the dog that's down there. <sighs> oh, yeah, we have like little dogs, and they like to. So, I'm thinking, like, like one day, to like, I'm food. gonna go into the kitchen, the dogs are around me, and then, like, um, I guess one of the dogs said. 
looking for it. Like just just gets crickets and yeah. I no, not that. Like I trip and then I hit the cutting board and then the knife flies and then it hit like hits me in the eye or something. Oh damn. And you're like dead and you'll find me like <laughs> on the kitchen. Hey, wow. Floor. Damn. Sometimes I think about that. No, yeah, that's a good one. That mm. that's not a good one. A way to die, but that's that's a good one. Like, fuck, like that, a dramatic. It's one. very dramatic and wow. I'm sure there's been a lot of. Things. And we're not depressed people. I just wanted you guys to know that. But damn, that that's... we think about death. But we do think about <laughs> death. Like, yeah. But we're thinking about clever ways to die. We're not just killing ourselves. <laughs> things are killing us. That's freaking nuts. That's a crazy one. I don't like that one. Yeah, it's scary. It, and it's always something lodging your freaking eye, yeah. if you notice that. That's true. Because oh, I have a thing with eyes, too. Like, I don't touch. I don't like touching my eye. I don't like seeing people touch their eyes. I know. You know what bothers me? You know, you're talking about eyes. You know people that put damn contacts on. Oh. Oh, God. That grosses me. And they put out. their two fingers in. I just it. hate looking at people's eyes. With, I don't hate it. But it does bother me when I see people with contacts but on. But they get used to it. I mean, same, I'm saying like me because I feel like their eyes are getting bothered. Yeah. But I guess they're used to it. But I, at some time I forget, but sometimes I look at them, oh, God, doesn't that bother your eyes? <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I, it's just nuts. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend binge watching those. Those movies, yeah, they're, they're really solid movies. Um, Speaking of movies, what's your favorite movie? Oh, see, that's a good segue. Wow. Oh, wow. My favorite movie. Actually, you know what? I actually wrote this one in because you said, oh, what's our favorite movie? You said you asked me. And I always have the same answer because, like, weirdly enough, this movie I always think about. And it's always, like, a movie that makes me happy and brings me joy. And, like... And it's strange. And it's strange because <laughs> it's like such a seasonal movie. Yeah. And then, and then now you'll know what it is. So the seasonal movie, it, it's, I love Christmas. Like I love December. For some reason, everyone's always happy. Or usually people I'm around are happy. I love the music. It make it brings me joy. I know a lot of people listen to it and it, it gets them like, like freaking anxious because they're like, I gotta buy gifts and all this crap. And, Stuff like that, but like, luckily, I don't feel that. Like, I just feel joy. Mm-hmm. It's one of the main reasons that me and her got married in December, because I love that month. Mm-hmm. You know, but so going back to the topic, my favorite movie is The Grinch Who Stole Christmas with, but with Jim Carrey. <laughs> Solid ass movie. Like, it it has like. It is so good. But if you were to pick a non-seasonal movie, a non-seasonal, what, yeah, oh what my would it be? Gosh, <laughs> that's even harder than 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 that. Like, I don't even. Know I kind of still want to keep talking about The Grinch though, just to oh. kind of because because that is my favorite movie. To be honest with you, I can watch that even without Christmas, and it, I would still enjoy it because, like, the reason being is because I don't just watch this movie as a seasonal movie like when i'm watching it, i'm not thinking oh this is a christmas movie when i'm watching it i'm like oh this is a movie about a guy who's a loner who's trying to better himself or who's trying to this is for the people who don't know what the movie's about but i'm pretty sure no nah, i mean everybody knows it's fucking old <laughs> but like like he's trying he's trying to be better but but he's but he's trying to like so he's not trying to be better actually he's trying to portray the persona of this person who hates all but he doesn't you know what i mean he has a heart that's the point of it right and the reason he's trying to like protect himself from such of like from belonging to others and just you know having you know like connections with others is because he he doesn't want to be hurt you know, and we could all understand that, right? Like, not everybody wants to be hurt. That's an insecurity. And I, I think that's, that's like, the deep down thought for myself that I like about that movie. It's, like, it's like about this, this flawed character who's insecure and, and just, like, you know, and realizes that at the end of the day, you know, you have to give a little to get a little. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's just what it is. All right. Now, I want to hear your favorite movies. Uh, a favorite movie that I could, I don't know, I have a lot of, 
I don't know, to be honest with you. Like, I like a lot of movies, but there's not, like, one... I mean, I have a lot of favorite Disney movies, but I'm not gonna go and be like, oh my god, I need to watch it right now. You know, what's a movie that, like, that, like, this is how I thought about it. What's a movie that you can always watch and always enjoy? Like, when we watch Bedazzled. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, every time we watch it, it's like, it's like Nacho Libre. Oh, that's every time we watch it, it's like, mm -hmm. this movie's hilarious. Like, this movie's good. But one to me? Yeah, see, that's the hard thing. That's why I... Yeah, I, like, we're movie connoisseurs. We Not really, lot. but... I mean, we, we watch, watch a, lot a lot of movies, movies. yeah. Um, I don't know. If it, oh, my God. Not the... Oh, my God. You know what I thought you were going to choose was a, was a horror movie, is what I thought, because you love horror movies. Oh, so. I do love horror movies. I was thinking, like, oh, you're going to choose one of those, but... One that I can go back to is... Probably Chucky. Just original... because... Just mm -hmm. because it has such, like, a childhood thing. Like, we watch it when we were little. We were mm. scared shitless about it. But they were good. Because mm -hmm. it was about a doll. A possessed doll. <laughs> but what was good about them? Like, what what uh, what uh made you, like, like watch this movie and be like, like, wow. Because, like, I mean, at that point, I, I mean, at least for me, I didn't watch a lot of horror movies. But, like. At that point, you're like, well, what makes this movie good? You know what I mean? Because there wasn't a lot of doll stuff. You know what I mean? But like, it's not that it was good. No, not like, I don't know. Like, I, to me, my a favorite movie is like. Like, a, like something you can watch not, countless times. Not because it's like a good story or whatever. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. because like you genuinely like it. Enjoy it. Yeah. You enjoy it. I don't know. I think that one's now that I think about it. It's a little too, <laughs> it's a little too scary. But it is one of my favorite movies. It's funny. I actually, when we ended up, when we started, like, when we're dating a little bit, you, you told me that it was a good movie. And I saw I saw that movie, like, when I was a kid, like, a long time ago. And I ended up just buying, like, I ended up buying, you remember this, you were there with me. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up buying a new pair of uh, of uh, gaming headsets. So there was, like, Dolby Digital, oh, whatever. You yeah. remember that, right? And for some reason, I saw the movie alone because you were doing some whatever. No, type. you were just home. Yeah, but you were with me, no? Or was I by myself? No, you I, were by yourself. Oh, okay. I don't it recall, but I had the headsets on and like... You watched it by And I watched it by myself because I was like, you know, I'm going to give it another chance because it was a good movie. I remember it being good, but I don't remember being it like, like as well as you described it where you're like, oh, it was like such a good movie that you enjoyed and all this childhood trauma you had, I guess, with it. <laughs> And my sister used to funny story she my brother my little brother well not really little but he's a year old younger than me but he was scared shitless of that movie because my sister used to torture us with a doll we already had and she would make it carry a butter knife <laughs> and make it walk and say that sh it was Chucky. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and we genuinely, me and my brother, thought that it was genuinely possessed oh because god. it would talk in the middle of the night, like yeah. by itself, like nobody pushed it or anything. It was in the, it was in the, the toy box, and it nobody was playing with it. Yeah, so it was creepy, and um. <laughs> no, nothing. I was still talking about my story about watching it. Oh. <laughs> so, so watching it, I put in the headset, Dolby Digital, whatever, like so super loud surround sound kind of in my ears. And uh, I was watching it by myself. I was just sitting on the freaking floor watching it on the TV. And like there's this scene, and spoiler alert, I guess, because it's like freaking what from the 80s? I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> you guys should have watched it by now. Um, he 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 the the doll somehow ends up getting into someone's car and the person is is sitting down like he, in the driver's seat and this guy starts stabbing upwards oh yeah do you remember that when he's under the seat yeah and mm -hmm. i did not for some reason I, at this point we saw a lot of like i've seen a lot of scary movies with you mm -hmm. and i say with you because i didn't watch them a lot when out by myself obviously but 
because I'm a little girl and I don't like watching those <laughs> things. I get, well, I'm not a little girl, but I, I just get scared like easily. Mm-hmm. And oh my God, dude, I saw that scene and I freaking jumped. Like I <laughs> jumped. I remember just going like jolting, like, oh my God. Like, and, and I was like, and I texted you. I was like, I called you or texted you. I was like, I, this was the craziest movie I've seen so far right now. Like it was, it was freaking scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say like, I have a lot of different movies. Like I like Christmas. We should have done season, not seasonal, but we like should have done category movies. Why can't we do it now? We still can. I just because I, I don't want horror. Wanna... There's a lot of good horror. I have movies. a good horror one for myself. Evil Dead, Hereditary. Um, you got to choose one. See, that's the thing. If you chose Chucky, I would think we would choose Chucky. Chucky's for... a good one. All right. So, what's your favorite season one? Of what? Um, let's say Christmas, I guess, because oh, Christmas movie, oh, um, National Lampoon's Christmas <laughs> oh, Vacation. That's a good, that's a great movie. That's my favorite. That, is that one, one I can generally say that's my favorite movie. And I actually did not see that movie until I met you, and <laughs> oh my god, it is hilarious. Square. Square. <laughs> I can't that voice funny. And when they're eating the turkey, they're all. It's all <laughs> joke. Does it? Is it the one where they stab it and it goes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Like Eric comes out they of it. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that movie's so wild. What's your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie yeah. is Insidious. Oh my god, those are good. And ones. it's and it's crazy because like the first one, right? The first one, yeah. yeah. We saw that movie twice all in, those, in the theater. All those um, Insidious, Conjuring, what's the other one? Like that 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 universe, I guess you yeah, want to say. Yeah, they're so good. Annabelle. Annabelle. Mm-hmm. That one's really good. Annabelle, the the creation? one was just her. Uh, about Annabelle her. creation or Annabelle the, something. They were in the farm. That was genuinely scary. Oh, that yeah. I yeah, was yeah. scared. Yeah, that was a good mm-hmm. one. But no, Insidious. And like I said, we saw that movie twice in theaters. What about Sinister? And I jump a lot. Which one? Sinister. Sinister, Sinister is good. One. Sinister is a good movie. I like that movie a lot. It didn't get me as much as Insidious did, but that is a solid movie. Definitely worth the watch. Mm-hmm. I like the second one too. Not bad. It's not as good as the first. But Honestly, this is the thing about horror, horror movies is that, like, there's a lot of horror movies out there because they could be made cheaply, but like, some are good. Some are like a little bit. The problem that they there's two problems that horror movies have at least that I, that I see. Is that they tell too much of the story, and then sometimes that they don't tell enough, mm-hmm. and that's like a thing that they do. Um, what was I gonna say? But what about what about you? What about your favorite? What did you say for the uh, seasonal? So it was uh, National, National Lampoon's Lampoon. horror movie was Chucky. I want now. I'm kind of regretting it. Not Chucky. I have a lot of favorite horror. We should just do uh, another segment of just horror, good horror movies we, that people should yeah, watch. Yeah, because there's so yeah, many. Yeah, because there's so many, but that, yeah, it's, there's a lot of stuff that. What definitely... about your favorite comedy? Um, comedy. All the scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yeah, all the scary movies. Scary movie one. Oh, scary, scary movie. movies. The, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the movies. Yeah. I thought, oh, those are great movies. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like scary movies, like the good horror night. movies. Mm. Those are fucking hilarious. Favorite comedy movie? I can't. I can't think of one right now. Oh, honestly, yeah, actually, I can. My favorite comedy movie, mm-hmm. like I can watch and just enjoy always, Dumb and Dumber. Oh. Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels, the original. <laughs> this movie is hilarious. Like, there's so much going on. Like, it, it it's Ace Ventura. But Ace Ventura, Ventura is a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Jim Carrey is just a freaking. Yeah. I love Jim Carrey. I watched all his movies, even like his serious movies. I I did that with Rob uh Robin Williams too. Mm, I like it even as is uh, yeah rest in peace. I even like his like his uh his um dramatic movies that he did. What about drama? Drama. Oh, Goodwill Hunting, for me. I, I love that. I love that movie. Good drama movie for you. Yeah. I I had a thought in my head. Oh, what about freaking Devil Wears Prada? <laughs> that's a good movie. I don't know if that's a drama, but that's a good movie. I don't know. No, I do like that movie, but like, that's a great movie. What about favorite musical? Favorite musical for me? Or movie? 
Mm, the Greatest like Showman. That. This is the greatest. That's a good one. The Greatest Showman. Uh, oh, musical. Uh, that's a funny thing. He used <clears throat> to not like musicals, and then now. Oh yeah, I hated musicals. <laughs> like they bother me. Like generally, be like fuck, I hate musicals. But now I like really like musicals. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. You know what movie I was watching recently that I actually enjoyed was The Sound of Music. I got Disney. <laughs> I've never watched that. One. I, I was watching Disney Plus. Dude, th- that movie is solid. Like the singing is solid. Like it's mm-hmm. good, and it's so old and timey and stuff. But yeah, we uh yeah, we 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 got we should stop with the the movie stuff for a bit. <laughs> we we've been out of for a while. We can go for a while because we we've been just we've been just talking about it for a while. But you know what? I I actually wanted to ask you. Because I, I wanted them to uh, hear the story. <laughs> because this is like, this is a very funny random story that I just was like, I really wanted to say. We went to a college. We're not going to say what college. I guess we can kind of, mm-hmm. but it was a college. And it was. Uh, but go ahead and tell of, your story. Oh, it was like, a, I, were you there or no? No, yeah, I was not. Were. I was not. I was there, but I was in class. I was in class. No, I know, but you were there with me because we used to go to college together. And, um, I would give him rides to school and stuff, but um, he I think he I was waiting for him to get out, and I I would go to the library and do my homework, and they had these like rooms where you can they were individual like one person two person two person max, and you can go in there and like study or do your homework, and um, they weren't they had glass like it they looked soundproof. But they weren't, like, they weren't soundproof at all. And so I was in there getting my stuff out, and then, um, uh, the, the, what are, the tables were kind of arranged towards <laughs> facing one direction, so you, it, I can't explain it, it was just like this table up against the wall, and you could only face, like, to one direction like if somebody were to behind you they would only see your back and the same vice versa for right (laughs) (laughs) for the rest of the rooms and then um this um this pair i guess they were friends or something and they had come they had came into the room behind me and then she was like super loud I, she, the study room, right? Yeah, kinda, yeah, she thought that nobody can hear her and she could say whatever the hell she wanted. So she came in and she's like, oh, this is fucking cool, man. Like, nobody <laughs> can hear us? Really? And then... <laughs> oh, why did she think that? Oh, because it looked like it, right? Yeah, it looks assuming. like it. It's just funny because it sounds like she's saying it like... But I heard every word she said and then... <laughs> <laughs> she's like this is cool man like we can just do, we can party in here blah blah and then all of a sudden she's like hey yo bitch with the pink shirt <laughs> 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 turn around and then I literally turned you were the bit you were the bitch with the pink yes, shirt though. You didn't, you and didn't say I that. had the pink shirt <laughs> <laughs> I slowly turned around and gave her the dirtiest stare, and she the was shocked. Guy. She was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and she shut up real quick. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh, and I just like started studying. <laughs> That's funny. I, I feel like someone told her, yeah, you think these are soundproof, you know? No, because the other friend was all like kind of egging her on, being like, yeah, dude, like they're soundproof. But I'm like, that's stupid. I can hear everything. So I was like, oh my god. That's hilarious. So just <laughs> doing <it. laughs> freaking oh god. But I think I, you know, it's funny you saying that that little story because it reminds me. This is like you know that embarrassing moment of things that you do. Have you ever had that embarrassing moment where someone's waving at someone oh, yeah, all the time. else, all not you, the time. and then you start waving back? Like <laughs> one time in high school, I don't know if I told you this. There was this girl, and this is not like you where they called me a bitch or anything, but there was this girl who come who who's like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" Like, like looking straight at me, but I guess behind me. So you still smoke and or something like that. And I'm like, and I'm like, I was like, hey, uh, I don't smoke. Like, you know, <laughs> so 
and then she like looks past and she just walks by. <laughs> she walks by me to some other dude and I was like, What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? I right think now? I've had that recently and I'm like, Oh crap, they're not talking to me. <laughs> I'm answering over here. At that point, what do it's you do? It's because they're like looking at you. Yeah, what the fuck? Like <laughs> You have eye contact at me. Yeah. Unless they have, like, really crazy crooked eyes. <laughs> like that lady that I told you. Remember when I went to go get my admissions paper at school? Oh, yeah. There was just this, this another She story. was waiting in line. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting in line. There's this lady. She had cross-eyed. Or what is that we're called? We're not making fun of it. No, we're not making fun of it. It just... She had cross-eyed. Or what is it called? She had lazy eyes. Mm, was it, it was a lazy eye. It was a lazy eye. Mm-hmm. But so one eye is looking left, one eye is looking right. Well, actually, one eye is looking at me, one eye is looking to the left, and uh, I was talking to her, to Diane, and we were waiting in line, and and so I, she goes next, <laughs> and this guy has I'm the all... audacity <laughs> to turn to the left of him and say, "Who me?" <laughs> yeah, because and she's like, "Yeah," <laughs> because I looked at her eyes. <laughs> And your eyes are looking somewhere else. And she's like, who is she talking to? Yeah, who is she talking to? Like, <laughs> what the hell do... Uh, I, that was just really freaking funny. But I was... It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Funny things. Funny things all around. At <laughs> school. Now we gotta go move on to our spooky segment. Uh, I know. This, this is her favorite segment. The spook. <laughs> spooky segment. Spooky All right. Actually, I want you to lead this one since you love your spooky stuff. Whatever. Go ahead, spooky. So this is not, this is not a story of mine. This is a story of a coworker. And there's a lot of stories where I work, spooky stuff, um, that happened there. But um, one time, my co- <laughs> he was telling me about the time that he had gone to the kitchen because I guess somebody was hungry and. The kitchen at night is locked down, so you you would need a key to open it and get something. So he went towards the back to look for something. And uh, at the kitchen, there's like a set of windows. Like, they're kind of long, like, but they're kind of divided. I don't know if I can Are they divided by like some sort of pillar or? Like a pillar and then two, a a big window Mm -hmm. and then a... And then, like, wait, there's two big windows and a pillar in the middle. Do you know where you're at? (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. It's like you're making this up. (laughs) But I kind of get what you're saying. There's a hallway, really big windows, and they're divided by some sort of pillar, right? No, 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 no. See, I'm not saying it right. Okay, so the kitchen, there's a door. Mm. You enter the <laughs> I'm listening. What? This doesn't sound very spooky. <laughs> you enter the kitchen, and to the left, there's like a fridge, and then to the right is another big fridge, like those industrial fridges. Yeah. And in between, you walk mm. through, and there's like a, a, a island, and then um, on by the sink, there's a big sink. And then there's two big windows. Those are the windows that I'm talking about. But towards the back, there's a storage area where they keep, like, all their cans and all that good stuff. And so he had to get something from the back. And in the kitchen, we kind of... I, we, no, do we? No, we don't keep the lights on. We have to turn them on. But um, he was walking towards the storage room, and then... He had seen a pair of eyes looking at him mm-hmm. to Creepy. in through the window, like this dark figure with eyes. Like the the kitchen, the windows, they're kind of blurry. Oh, okay. So you have to do this so you can see into the wind. I don't know if you can see through the but you, but, you, but if they wanted to try to see, they yeah, would, like they would do really that. To, they yeah. would get really close to the like window peek and into look. The window, yeah. And he said that he like as clear as day, like they're real human eyes, like um, and the there was hands beside him, like if he was trying to look in, and he stared at the eyes the whole time he was going into the storage room, 
Yeah. And he he said that they, um, it was following him, like all the way. And after that, he just got what he needed and he ran out. He did not look back. Oh God! What if it was somebody real? Because he said that it was like real eyes. But that's. But it was just the eyes. And and hands. hands. No head. I don't know. Just well, really it's got to be a silhouette. It's got to be a silhouette. Cause it might have. It had to be, but that's just interesting. To but something always yeah. happens like back there, back there, yeah. and in the basement. <laughs> I've heard. Oh my god. Yeah. That's creepy as hell, especially because the eyes are following and he sees that. Yeah, and he's looking at them like he. Yeah. It's not like he was going into the storage room and like he he, he got a, a glimpse of it through his peripherals yeah it wasn't that it, he was staring at the eyes like he was making contact with the eyes oh god and he was just following him and then he ran out of there <laughs> what a freaking ran too it was so creepy when he told me that it was oh i got the chili willies yeah it's i got creepy. the chili fritos right now you telling me that <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Oh yeah, that's been sick. Do you? Uh, I ha- I do, but this is actually not me. This is someone else. Oh. This is uh, my my the boss, the owner, the head honch of the restaurant. I'm head honcho. <laughs> my honcho. <laughs> <laughs> but he so he was telling me a story one time, and uh, usually he stays late at the restaurant to like. Um, I, I think to like put in an order. So like what we need for the, like, you know, what we need for produce and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And he stays there and he does like late night work. I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's doing something for sure. Mm-hmm. At one point he, he's in his office. Everyone's gone. It's like 11 or something, maybe 10. I'm not sure what time he told me. It's like late. No one was there anymore. It's just him. So we usually close at nine or 10. So I'm assuming it's like around that like time frame. And he's doing on something on his computer. He has his office. His office. So we have like a hallway towards the back of the, to the restaurant. I think you explained that the last time. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So yeah. So there's like a hallway down the restaurant, and and uh, to the left is the bathroom for men, and to the right is his office. He had his office slightly open, and he swears that he saw. Like something passed by through his peripherals to the restroom, closed the door, and he heard it close. Where he goes, and 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 that that door, it's not that it's heavy, but you can definitely you know that like when you yeah, there's some weight to it. You know, there's weight to it, and you can hear the like it closes right. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a light sensor Mm -hmm. in that bathroom, and the light sensor went on. Didn't that that happen to you when the last story about Lauren? That's the same thing that kind of happened, right? I th- you I'm, you saw her. Well, no, I turned off the light and then oh. I saw a freaking shadow. But that was that was yeah. Oh. But no, so he freaking yeah. So he told me that he saw some like he saw something through his rear fields and it like it turned on the light and everything and the door closed. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, okay, um, whatever, you know. He probably thought it was like a customer, late customer or something. I guess like because everyone was, was by gone, himself. But he was by himself. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't think anything of it. And so he finally, he probably thought it was like a late customer, you know, or something. And, and so he gives it a minute, like a few, like a few minutes, like maybe more than like, you know, like after a while. And he, like, I guess it comes to his mind. He's like, they've been in there for a really long time. He gets out of his chair. He goes to the bathroom. He knocks and he goes, hello, is anyone in there? No answer. And then he knocks again. Is, hello, is anyone in there? Freaking opens the door. There's nothing there. Just pitch black. Mm-hmm. The light that was on went to dark. Crazy. Yeah. And then he just. And then he said he got like a really weird like chill, like a wind, and he's just like. I, I mean, he's not a very scared guy, but I think he, I think he thought like, you know, like maybe it was like nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, cause but he but I think he, he and in the back of his mind he's like some some weird shit went down. Mm-hmm. Cause I guess they say, and this is cause this this place has been there for many years. They say that there's like ghosts that are there, mm-hmm. supposedly like things that have been because it's been like there for thirty years. Wow, like maybe somebody died there or what? I don't know. They always say that it's the ghost of the original owner that opened that business, but that guy's not 
I don't know. No, but you I see am. a woman. Well, I saw freaking my boss. She astral projected out of her body. Imagine just to like scare me. I mean, he's probably into. You should tell him the story of the, of the knocks. What knocks? When you're like, don't open the door if you don't. Oh God, no! This no, (laughs) this is a superstition. But this is but it's spooky because this is a superstition that my family believes in, and and it it usually does come, like, I don't want to say it's true, but it's not. It's (laughs) it's. (laughs) <laughs> I don't want to say it's not true or true, but because that's what happened last night. Never mind. What? Don't say that. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess like w- like one time there was a so like so like if you hear a knock at the door and you say who's there and no one answers, you're not supposed to open the door because if you open the door and just a wind comes through it's 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 a bad omen it's like death it's something. death or sickness coming into your house mm-hmm. or into your family's home whatever mm-hmm. so that story so they've always told me that when I was a kid and i guess like back in the day one of our family members that happened to them and they ended up getting sick and dying and that's what happened and so, like, that had just been a superstition, and it always followed us, like, through generations, I guess, through my mom, and through my grandma, through my mom, and then my mom put that into me. I didn't think nothing of it. I thought it was a stupid thing, too, and I was playing Call of Duty, and I was, it was late at night, and my mom was in the living room with me, and I hear a knock, and she's like, oh, she's checking the door, and I heard the knock clear as day, like, if someone was like, <laughs> like, and we had a, what's those, uh? Oh, the, uh, like, uh, those what? spring, no, it's like. Not spring doors, it's, uh, it's like metal doors, I guess. Mm-hmm. And you can hear that, cah, cah, cah. you know, and it, and, and it wasn't the wind. <coughs> it wasn't a windy night or anything like that. It was like, you can hear that, cah, cah, cah. and I heard it. Oh, actually, no, I lied. It wasn't, it, I lied. That was not even it. So, so that's why I wanted to say that because, so we have that metal door in the front of a, of a, of a wooden door. Mm-hmm. And. The noise I heard was the wood being knocked on, like, like the wood, like somebody, like opened someone it. opened that door, and that does not make sense because our, because we are so weird at our, at like just our family, we lock all doors. Do yeah. we just lock doors? It does not matter. Like if if we're in there, we lock doors. It doesn't like we just we we're just like that. It's not because we're like scared or something. It's just like it's just a habit. And so we heard that freaking wood knock, and we're like, what the hell? Okay. And then, like, I just, I thought of them, and I just freaking went over there, opened the door, and, like, and the metal door was open. Well, the metal door was not open. It was, like, locked. And then I just, and then just a wind came in. Mm-hmm. I should do not, and I told you this. Mm-hmm. And then, and then later on, and then not even, like, five minutes after whatever, we get a call that, that, uh, was it my grandma or my grandpa? I don't recall who. It might have been your grandpa. Yeah, and then uh, we got a. I got a call that my grandpa was uh, not doing well. That he and then uh, he had gotten a stroke, mm. and so they called me instead of calling me in the fucking ambulance for some reason. <laughs> my family's stupid. <laughs> instead of calling the ambulance, they called me, and so I called the ambulance and I ran over there, and my grandpa was having a stroke. Um, and uh, he ends up passing away like a few months after that because he was like in. He written. was like good no. yeah he, he ended up getting cause that's the thing is like that he recovered he went to mexico and then no well no he or was this this was the, he ate so he went out to mexico on a bin binger binger mm-hmm. so he went out drinking whatever the hell he was doing he came back and as soon as he came back the doctor told him hey you need to check into a hospital because i don't think you're gonna be okay and then he's like nah i'm okay he slept it off woke up the next morning later on that afternoon he got a stroke and then, and then, yeah, so he ended up going to, he went to rehab, all that crap for like the stroke. He was doing better. He actually like gained weight and looked better and he was talking. He was talk, being able to talk a little bit more because, you know, when you have the stroke, you go, mm-hmm. 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 you're like, is your side of your face or whatever? Yeah, it's trippy. Yeah. And so he started talking a little bit more and then he, uh, he ended up like, they were telling him that he was going to leave soonish or whatever. And then he just died, like there. He had another stroke, I guess, because he they comes in twos. They told him he was gonna. Yeah, they told him he might he might be going home soon. 
Oh, like oh they, yeah. they always tell you that. Like I thought you meant like to heaven. <laughs> no, <God. laughs> I don't know why. You might be going home soon to meet your parents <laughs> in the afterlife. <laughs> no, no, they told me he's gonna because he was doing better. Mm-hmm. And but yeah, no, he ended up having. The, that's the thing. Like what I was like trying to say about strokes is they always come in twos. If you survive those two, you're lucky. Mm-hmm. But like yeah, so he he died like that and. It, and then so like my mom had I was like it was the sickness you brought in she said but I was like I was like no he was just a freaking alcoholic alcoholic that was not healthy <laughs> but that that that's always creeped me out it still creeps me out to this fucking day yeah and then but that's what happened the other day like we heard somebody knocking on our door and usually it's like my brother or my mom trying to tell us something and um I opened the door and he. <laughs> And there was I'm no like, one there. No one, and then and, he goes, and it oh. was a knock, and I told it was and a knock. I was like, "Why did you open it?" I fucking then she just. I was like, "Why did you?" Open <laughs> it was it? so. You let pissed. sickness into our fucking house. I said. <laughs> I think it's just ever since that my grandfather thing. It just it just haunted me a little bit. It was so weird, but yeah, I mean, you have anything else you want to kind of say? No, until next time. I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a that was a good little episode. I enjoyed myself. I had a good time. We we keep doing these really late. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily we're not super tired. Mm-hmm. But yeah, until next time, guys, uh, we'll we'll do another podcast next week. I'm going to start uploading these. Like I think I'm going to upload them like very fast. I'm just trying to figure out how to do all this crap, but we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys again for listening to our podcast. Thank you. And uh, we'll hope to... Uh, Or we hope you guys hear us soon again so you guys can hear the next episode. Thank you.